Hi Curious Iowans, I'm Bailey Chihon, the Gazette Social Video Producer, and today I'm talking about sewers, storm drains, and sewage. These things are out of sight, out of mind for so many people, until a sewer line floods and sewage floods your street, of course. One Curious Iowan wondered what it takes to prevent clogs, specifically how sewers are cleaned. In this episode of Curious Iowa, the Cedar Rapids Sewer Maintenance Team takes us under the city to flush wonder down the drain. The Cedar Rapids sewer team checks sewer lines daily to ensure water keeps flowing from homes and businesses to the wastewater treatment plant. When it rains, water flows into storm sewers. Every time a toilet is flushed or a sink is drained, the water flows into sanitary sewer lines. These two lines are separate, but both run underground. Sewer lines can get clogged over time, so it's up to the sewer team to perform maintenance before unmentionables resurface and cause a smelly, hazardous problem. To flush the sewer lines, the sewer team uses a jetter truck and a camera truck. First, a small six-wheeled camera is dropped into a sewer line. In this case, it's a sanitary sewer line. The camera has lights, and some actually have a wiper tool that will push debris off of the lens when things get messy. This camera sends a live feed to the truck where operator Carrie Brown monitors the line from the comfort of above ground. Like, what do you think those lumps are? With this? Yeah. It's poop? Yeah, it is. Derek Nunemaker works as a laborer. He's in the splash zone, so to speak. I mean, you're showing up to work and you, you expect you're going to get a little bit of, uh, what would you call it, uh, recycled material on you, uh, waste. So you got to just expect that you're, if, if you don't like dirty things, it, this may not be the right job for you, but I mean, it's natural, you know. That's your crossbore right there, and it's just holding up all that paper backing everything up, but yeah, this is all Yes. We're looking for roots or grease, um, anything that's going to make that pipe weak and collapse and back up into somebody's houses. And if we can get that and we can, we can stop that before that happens, well, then everybody wins. And when you say roots, do you mean roots growing into the sewer? Yes. Yeah, roots will find the, the, the smallest cracks. Uh, they come through taps, they come through the connections around the taps, and through cracks in the pipe. And the drier it gets, somehow the roots know where that water is and they'll find it. And we, we've come across places that this whole eight inch line will just be blocked off with roots. Carrie uses an Xbox controller to move the camera down the line. He notes where lines are connected to homes and any issues that need to be resolved. So this right here is someone's house. This is leading back to someone's house. And then, so when they flush the toilet, when they do their sink, whatever they're doing, so you've got water running from their house already. So we know that this one's live. So and then we go in with code this. So if this homeowner ever calls in, they can say, your tap is at 89 foot, and it's at 3 o'clock position. Meanwhile, the jetter truck waits for Carrie to radio in a spot to flush out. Sewer maintenance supervisor Mike Levin explained what jetter trucks do. It uh, uses high pressure water, and it's got a vacuum system on it. Um, we spend some time looking at it, cleaning the lines, cleaning the structures out. Um, between pop bottles can be in there. Uh, you name it, anything that rolls off the road into a storm, it can be plugged in there. A jetter truck has a long hose that snakes through lines and different head attachments for various uses. Some of these heads direct the high pressured water to clogs. Others are used to extract items like litter. And sometimes it's a matter of climbing into the sewers to retrieve dropped items like car keys. But like a young kid playing out in the street might lose a ball down in the sewer, a uh, storm sewer that is, or skateboard falls down in there. So we've gotten calls for those. Sunglasses, they had that before, so. And while Cedar Rapids isn't the home to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mike said they see animals in the sewers all the time. Uh, raccoons are primarily the ones, they love to go in and out. They, uh, they live in there, it's nice and cool, it's protected for them. Um, raccoons are the primary ones. 
Curious Iowa didn't see any furry trash bandits, but we did witness this discovery. That's a good question. It's a pop bottle? It's got to be a pop bottle. It is a Mountain Dew bottle. What are you doing in there? How did that get in? I don't know. What goes in must come out, so Carrie sends the jetter truck to blast the bottle out and retrieve it. Got a bunch of rods back, but no Mountain Dew bottle. Yeah, that Mountain Dew bottle is stuck in the, the bottom, between the bottom of the pipe and the top of the uh, cross bore. Thankfully, the sewer team was successful and dislodged the bottle and cleaned out the clog. And if you leave this story with nothing else, know that something as simple as littering leads to a multi-person operation to retrieve a bottle from a sewer. Derek said on the job he's learned what not to send down the drain. Uh, I really didn't know you couldn't flush down like uh, baby wipes and stuff or paper towels. I mean, a lot of times the packaging will say that, but I mean, it just, you kind of take it for granted and you don't think where it all goes. Mike said the sewer system cleaning cycle is completed every 10 years. To make sure no sewer line is missed, the team uses an asset management system to log their work. Camera and jetter trucks are out daily, making sure that what is meant to travel underground stays underground. Reporting from Cedar Rapids, Bailey Chihan, The Gazette. If you have a question that you would like answered in Curious Iowa, we want to hear it. Visit thegazette.com slash curious to submit your question.